formation of a mirror image. I'll draw a diagram which shows how a mirror image is formed. A mirror an object and an eye. First of all, in this case, from the top and bottom of the object, I draw dotted lines to the mirror. This second pair of dotted lines I just drew, they are of the same length as the previous pair. Why do I draw these dotted lines? It's because of the third property of a mirror image which I stated just now. The object is as far in front of the mirror as the image is behind. So next I'll draw the image. Now, notice that the image that is, drew, that is drawn shows the properties of the mirror image. It is first of all of the same size. It is upright. You see, this uh, tip is uh, here on top, same as in the case of the object. It is as far, the image is as far behind the mirror as the object is in front of it. And it is also laterally inverted. This edge here is on the right side, but this edge on the object is on the left side. Lastly, you draw in dotted lines. Because it's a virtual image. Next, you need to choose an appropriate point on the image. For example, here, and you draw a straight line towards the, the eye. Where the straight line is behind the mirror. You draw it dotted. Because no light is actually traveling from the image to this part of the mirror. And then you draw, you then you draw a line from the crescent point, corresponding point of the object to where the first line cuts the mirror. Now what does this show? This shows a ray of light traveling from the object to the mirror, bounces off the mirror and enters the eye. But the eye will trace the ray backwards and then it will appear to come from where the image is. Now, for each point of an image, we draw two lines. So we now draw a second line at a slightly different angle. Why do we draw two lines? This is because on any point of an object, more than one ray of light will come out and be reflected by the mirror and the, the eye of a person. So this shows how a mirror image is formed.